What's going on, everybody? Welcome to part four of our Cats vs. Dogs Kaggle competition example with a convolutional neural network classifying dogs vs. cats. So uh, up to this point, we've trained a neural network. We've got about 85% accuracy, and let's say we're content with that. We don't think we've done any overfitting and all that. Uh, we're ready to take the next step. So the next step basically is to take the testing data, output some predictions, and submit that to Kaggle and see how we did. Before we do that, we only have so many, I think we got five submissions a day on Kaggle, so you don't want to waste a submission um, before you're pretty confident that you're, you're doing it right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually just going to output um, some of the images and see what the, what the classifier classifies them as. So uh, to begin, let's go ahead and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is basically you can either do test data equals process test data if you if you don't have it yet. So if you don't have have this file yet, and then if you already had it, if you already have it, um, then you could just say test data equals mp dot load test data dot numpy. Uh, we don't have it yet, so we still need to run that first. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is fig equals plt.figure. And now what we're going to do is basically iterate through the first 12 testing datas and plot them up on a figure, and then also just put as the title what the classification is. So we're going to say for num data in enumerate test underscore data up to number 12. Uh, basically, recall that cat is um, cat will be one zero, and dogness is zero one. So now what we're going to say is um, basically recall in the process uh, here in test data, the testing data is an array of basically a list of basically the image is the zeroth element and the first fifth is the image number, basically the ID of that image. And we need that when we go to submit to Kaggle. So we're gonna say image num equals data one and then image underscore data equals data zero. Then we're gonna do y equals fig.add underscore subplot. This will be a three by four sub subplot grid and the number will be uh, basically num num plus one. So it's so a three by four and then the, the number itself is whatever the number plus one. So as we iterate through here, num will actually start at zero whereas subplots start at subplot number one. So we have to add one. Now we're gonna say or ridge equals image data and then we're going to say the actual data here is image underscore data dot reshape image size by image size by one so that's just to make tensorflow happy now we're going to say model out so to use the actual model once you've got one in memory you just do model dot predict now you do have to have the model itself in memory and it needs to be the exact model um that you use. So in general, you'll do a model.load, but you can only do a model.load once you've defined the model. Um, and that's why typically I'll have a, you know, a CNN model.py or something that just contains whatever the model actually is. So model.predict, um, and then the prediction takes a list. In this case, we're just passing one thing. So we're just gonna say data. Um, and then it returns a list of predictions. In this case, it's only gonna be one prediction. The zeroth element's the one we're interested in. Now what we're gonna say is if np.argmax of model out, if that is equal to one, i.e. the firstth element, well, that would be a dog. So if that's the case, uh, we're gonna say the string label equals dog. Else, uh, we'll just say string label label equals cat now we're going to do a y dot m show uh, we're going to show the original image because it wants just a you know 50 by 50 not 50 by 50 by one uh, the original image and then we're going to say cmap equals gray uh, we're doing this just simply because um, yes we converted to grayscale but still when you plot it up on I met Plotlib, it's going to give it all kinds of psychedelic 
colors, <laughs> even though it is grayscale, but it, it, it doesn't know that. Now we're gonna do plt.title. The title will be the string label. And then now the ticks kind of will get in our way. We just don't need them. So we're gonna get rid of them. So we're gonna say y, which is our subplot, which can be kind of confusing, but axes dot, uh, get x axes dot set visib visible to false. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the y axes. Copy, paste, y. Great, now plt dot show. Okay, and let's run that. And then while that's doing that, let's uncomment this out and then comment that. So next time if we run it again, uh, we don't have to redo that. Great. So here we have our kind of classifications here. Dog, that looks correct. Cat, that looks correct. Dog, I'm pretty sure that's a cat, but it is pretty hard to tell. Dog, dog, cat, cat, dog. A cat looking dog, but that's definitely a dog. Cat, cat. And cat. So we actually did pretty good. Only one was was incorrect. Uh, so uh, let's say we are indeed happy with that. So what can we do? Well, we can just quickly do with open. Let's open a submission um, submission file .csv. We'll open that with the intention to write as f. There might be a better way to do what I'm doing here, but that's okay. F dot write. Um, we're going to write id label new line so when we do this line it's going to just overwrite the whole file with just this data and then we're going to do a another with open so with open and in fact i'm just going to copy this paste and now rather than write we're going to append so with open that as f fine now we're going to do um for data in tq dm of test data again if you don't want to see the progress bar, just remove TQDM. Now we're going to come up here and I am going to, um, I'm gonna take all of this, copy, come down here, paste, tab this over once, bring this back, we don't need Y. We've got model out and actually what we're interested in is um, the first if element basically of model out because that that would be the dogness so model out will be an array like this and it'll probably be like blah, 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 and then well it would be like seven something like that point seven okay you get the idea anyway something like that actually it'd be foxes anyway <laughs> uh so it'll be like something like that and we actually the the prediction is is how much how likely is this a dog specifically? So, uh, so what we're going to say now is just f dot write, and we are going to write something which is the id comma and then the actual value and then a new line. So dot format um, image num, and then the second value would be model out and then the first if element. And then we're just going to continue doing that until that submission file is complete. Let's run that. And it is going. Get ready to pull it up. And we'll see how we did. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably already know how we did. <laughs> cool. So we should be done. Um, sure enough, let's see if I've got the submission file here. Yes. There we go. So here we go. And this is just basically how much how likely is it that we have a dog cool so as we can see here we don't have perfect you know 99 or 0 which is kind of good because we're not going to get penalized too much on the if we are wrong or uh, and so on but if if we're never sure about anything we're also going to be penalized a lot there too but if you have a really strong network uh, you can all it can almost work in your not in your favor uh, with a log last format that we have Anyway, let's see how we did. So we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna upload the submission file. And actually, I'm pretty sure we it's probably reset by now. Yeah. Okay, so let me upload this real quick. Oops, there we go. Okay, so I've got it uploaded. I'll just say uh, tutorial video, for example. Make submission. At first it wasn't happy with my file. All right, so um, 
Oh, I've actually made an improvement over my previous score? I think it was but definitely an older score. I thought I had done better than this. Anyway, um, so we're right at about 700 in this rank of not too many people, just over 1,000 people. Um, so probably what we'd want to do is, I mean, first of all, you know, 85% accuracy is not exactly the greatest. So we'd probably want to work on our, our little comp net <laughs> a little bit more. Um, but anyways, uh, that's hopefully a really quick example of uh, creating convolutional neural network on actual data and also just kind of how to use Kaggle a little bit more. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. I'll do my best to help you out. Otherwise, I will see you all in another video.